warning. This video might just save your life. Have you ever used a non-contact voltage tester? Mm -hmm. Of course you have. All of us do-it-yourselfers or at-home electricians <gasps> has pulled one of these out and has used it to check if there's still power on your circuit. Now, while these are a great tool, you should never ever just rely on your non-contact voltage tester. The reason being is, while these are great tools, they can provide false readings. So imagine this, you bring up your non-contact voltage tester, you bring it up to your outlet, it doesn't beep, it doesn't flash, it gives you no indication that there's any kind of power to the circuit. You go ahead and take the faceplate off, you reach in to remove the outlet from the wall box, you get zapped. It doesn't feel good. 120 might just give you that jolt. But if you're dealing with higher voltage, it could potentially be deadly. So how does this exactly happen? These are supposed to detect when voltage is on the circuit, right? Well, not always. Now, folks, I love these non-contact voltage testers just as much as the next do-it-yourselfer or at-home electrician. So today, follow along as I test these out. With that said, let's head on over to the workbench. Okay, first up is the Klein Tools CL800. So to test this, we'll go ahead and flip it on to AC voltage. Now to use it, you have to hold down the non-contact voltage button, and then you're gonna get a red LED anytime that you are near power. When I'm close to the neutral side of the plug, I'm not getting the red LED right here. But as I bring it over close to the hot side, it does light up. But as you can see, it just flickered and you really have to be right over the hot side of the plug there and it is flickering on and off. So you could be pretty close, let's say right there. I'm not getting the red LED, but this socket definitely does have power. So in my opinion, folks, the Klein CL800 is a great, great multimeter and it's a great clamp-on ammeter as well. I would not rely on the NCV non-contact voltage function of this. Next up is the Klein Tools NCVT1P. Now this is on Amazon most times for under $25. I'll throw links to all these by the way down in the description. So with that said, let's go ahead and test the Klein tools hold down the power button you can see now that i have a solid green light now that tells me that i'm not near or near enough to any kind of voltage or power source now remember these work on emf power so that's the electromagnetic force that is near a energized circuit so i'll go ahead and test the neutral side of my socket buster and it's still green that means that i have no power so I'll go ahead and insert it into the hot side as you can see it is still green now I have not put a lot of pressure onto the voltage tester if I were to put pressure down and push it in I can get it to flash red and green there it's kind of going back and forth but I really got to push this in and that right there is a perfect example of how you can get a reading that tells you that you have removed power and the circuit is safe to work on but folks by this red LED here I can tell you that there is 120 volts AC on this. Okay, now we'll move the Klein over to the regular power strip. Now that's on the neutral side. This is the hot side and I can push it down in it and it's red, indicating that there is power on this circuit. But as you can see, it just slightly pulled out and I've got green again. So this could be a false indication that you have removed power and the circuit is safe to work on. So be careful with this Klein tools. You really got to push it in and make sure you get a good connection get near that powered contact before it shows that red light so to me the Klein tools NCVT 1P is not going to be a highly accurate non-contact voltage tester next up we have the all of sun voltage tester now I have featured this in a Christmas lights test if you haven't seen that watch the video right here but today I'm strictly going to be using the non-contact voltage tester voltage detector now to do that, I'm going to go ahead and put it up into the fuse test. The interesting thing with the Allison is it does have this dial right here. 
and that allows you to adjust the sensitivity now while that's good uh, it could also not be good because you could accidentally leave this in the all the way off sensitivity and I'm going to show you the dangers of that right here so this is the neutral side of course you're not going to get any kind of light or beeping here's the hot side again no lights and you can't hear it beep so this is actually giving us a false reading letting us know that we have removed power from this circuit again if this had been a high voltage power circuit this could potentially be deadly now let's move over to the socket buster again we're getting nothing so with this sensitivity knob i've turned it up and with it all the way up like that you just have to kind of even be near it you don't have to be in on these testers that have sensitivity knobs while it's a great thing that you can adjust your sensitivity it can also bite you in the butt and tell you that you've removed power there and you actually have not it's just the fact that your sensitivity knob is turned all the way down and that could allow you to work on a circuit that you think is de-energized but actually it is not okay next up is one of the fan favorites it's a fluke 1ACA2. Now Fluke is a trusted name brand in voltage testing as well as many many other electrical testing instruments. Now you can see on this fluke that you're always going to get a steady rhythmic red flash there that just means that no power has been detected so we'll go ahead and start out with the socket buster we'll insert it down as far as it can go which is not real far with this model into the neutral you can still see that we're getting our red flashing light which means no power and folks right there we've got it inserted into the hot side of our socket buster and it is indicating that we have no power to the circuit again very very dangerous telling you that you remove power when you have not so we've inserted it down into the neutral side again we're going to get that red rhythmic flashing because there's no power we'll go ahead and insert it into the hot side of the power strip as you can see it's actually still flashing red this thing may have completely failed and this is brand new out of the box okay last up is my FLIR non-contact voltage tester now this is the one I've used on the job the most so let's see how this holds up in our test. So to turn it on, we'll hold down the power button. We get a vibration that I know you can't hear or feel, but I could. And now we have a green light. This indicates that we have no power and we're good to go. So let's go ahead and try it in our socket buster. We're in the neutral side. We're getting solid green here. It's not vibrating or flashing orange. We'll move it over to the hot side. As we hold it into the hot side, it is vibrating steady. You can see that the orange light is flashing there that tells us that we do still have power we'll go ahead and check the regular neutral side of the power strip over to the hot side and it is vibrating i don't know if you can hear that but it's vibrating and we're getting our flashing orange light so this FLIR is actually pretty solid i feel confident using this out of the four pins this is really the only non-contact voltage tester that i would recommend and i'm going to throw a link down into the description on how to pick one of these up now folks as promised i'll go ahead and show you a few safe alternative this is a client's tool et310 what this is doing right now is telling me i have two green lights here which means my circuit is wired correctly and it also tells me that there is power to the strip now if i were to turn power off obviously my lights are off so this is another safe alternative in addition to the non-contact voltage tester pins now of course the ultimate way to see if you remove power Power to the circuit is going to be with a traditional multimeter such as the Fluke 87 5 here. I'll throw a link to that into the description as well but this is super easy just plug in one lead to each side of your socket and you're gonna read 121 this is a pretty fail safe way so if you've got a multimeter or even just a voltmeter you can plug these in and it'll tell you real quick if you've had power on the circuit now I suggest using this as well as the Klein circuit tester that I showed you just a minute ago in addition to the voltage pins now obviously these work best where you can insert your leads into and interrupt the circuit hopefully now you've got a better understanding what the non-contact voltage tester can provide to you as well as its limitations and folks if you found value in today's video please please subscribe to the channel right here and watch our next video here